Hi, this is McGann with another Maya 2012 tutorial. Uh, really fast today, I'm going to show you how to put a camera into your scene. Um, it doesn't matter which of these uh, options that you're on. I'm on animation. Any of them should have the create up here and you just go down to cameras and you have the option of camera, camera and aim, and camera, aim and up. Uh, I'm going to do camera really quick just to show you what it looks like. You can use the manipulator tools to move it around. I'm going to use the move here. And once I change the perspective around, we can see that it's not aiming at the object at all. Uh, that can be a really tricky problem for where the camera is actually pointing. So I really recommend using the camera and aim option as much as possible. Um, now what that does, I'm going to change the move tool. This camera comes with this line that has a little tiny circle on it and now the circle won't show up uh, in your final production. But what you have to do is select the camera separately so that you can move it without the aim and then the aim will move also by itself. And as you can see, wherever I put this aim, that's where the camera's going to look. So I'm going to put it right here in the middle of that sphere. Now to show you the difference, I just set up this camera by eyeballing it. Um, if you want to see what your camera view is, you go up to panels here on this menu right here, perspective, and you can choose perspective, camera 2, camera 3. I'll try camera 2. That's the camera that I placed using my own eyeball technique here, uh, and it's kind of off from where I would want it. I can hold down the command button or control if you're using PC, and I can rotate it around, but it is kind of sloppy and difficult to move around that way. Um, I would try to avoid that as much as possible. I can also switch to camera 3. Now that is the one that I used with the aim and as you can see it's much more centered to where I wanted it. Now I'm going to go back to perspective and now uh, let's say I want to add a background to this uh, for one reason or another. I'm going to click on my camera. I'm going to make sure that my channel box slash layer editor is open. Uh, you can open it from your menus at the top if it's not and I'm going to go to Edit, Attribute, Editor. Where is it at? Okay, Attribute, Editor. And then we're going to scroll down this list until we find Environment. And then we're going to click where it says Background Color. That doesn't matter right now. Image Plane, Create. And in that Image Plane, if we scroll down just a little bit, it says Type, Image File, Image Name, and a search sort of thing. So I'm going to go into... Pictures. Huh, there's one. Alright, and there's the ballet stage that I used in another project. That's how you get it on there. If you need to get it off, you just uh, highlight all that and delete it, hit enter, and it's gone. So, in a very quick way, that is how you do a camera setup. Hope that's been helpful. Uh, anything else you're looking for, let me know and I'll do my best to try and help you out. Thanks for watching.